Man. What up, people? It's the first of the holiday episodes. We had our Christmas episode over on Popcorn and Pints on Saturday. We got our Christmas episodes today and Thursday, oh, yeah. possibly next Tuesday and Thursday as well. Those movies we will let you know by maybe by Thursday. If not, just whenever we randomly have them out. But we are shooting for newer horror Christmas movies. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, because I have I have I have a few in the back of my head I want to do for sturdy reviews. I'm gonna start doing maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll start some nice. There you go. Over on the horror side, because you guys, you guys know I got sturdy reviews going over on the popcorn and pint side. So, what is it just watch a movie and re- short video, or you're doing <clears> like a watch party? I may do both. I might do oh, both for some, like here and there. It'll be like randomish. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have a watch party tomorrow, though. Glad you said that, James. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, episode seven and eight. So the last two final ones, season one. What do you think of it so far? I'm fucking enjoying it. Yo, it, she it is. Fucking... Jenna Ortega plays Wednesday. Perfect, Wednesday. perfect. She is a perfect Wednesday. And I'll say a perfect Wednesday for these times. Yeah. I don't think they, I don't think you can cast anybody better than her in that role. She is killing it. Yeah, like I, lo- I love the, like what she does with her facial expressions, with her eyes and all that. Like yeah. how Emotion. Yeah, look down, look down, eyes up type thing with no blinking. Yes, that emotion kind of like emotionless, yeah, to an extent. And then the eyes get a little, get a little gleamy and they get, a little, get like more of a caring look mm-hmm. in certain times, certain times, you know what I mean? But for the most yep. part, it's that tough look and it, just, and it just works like you laugh at it, you enjoy it. Like her, at, you love when she, when she just says what she wants and she's winning that argument. You love it because just like you love that attitude. Spoiler, you find out that she fucking knows martial arts. Fuck yeah. those kids up. <laughs> yep. That's it. It's, it's fucking great, man. It's way better than I expected. By far. Hell yeah. I, I can't <laughs> wait season two. I can't I have zero complaints. And hopefully when no, season two comes out, I'll be able to start that on time. Yeah, we'll story's see. good. No flaws to <clears> me. <throat> the acting was great. Yeah, people had a problem with the guy who's playing Gomez, but I have no problem with it. No, nah, I think it's perfect. Um, <laughs> but but uh, it's not as he's a bad actor, they just expected someone more handsome or something. I, I think it's fucking perfect for the role. I feel, yeah, if you look at the old fashioned Adams Family cartoon where the dude is, is head around, he kind of looks like him. So mm-hmm. I see where they're getting it from. They're not doing the like Adams Family movie. Gomez, you know, uh, yeah. Banderas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, you're right. Because that, that that cartoon, which I would love to go back and watch, maybe I would. Yeah, watch. it's it's been a long time since I seen but it. That but that one yeah. and um, Beetlejuice He's really short with a round head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Beetlejuice yeah. was another fun one. I used to fucking love back in the day. Oh, the cartoon. Yeah, uh, I used to watch the Ghostbuster cartoon. That too. Yeah. Like that, I, anything that had like a horror mm-hmm. thing to it, whether yep. it be childish or more in the adult realm. That's I why I used to, to watch. It. That's why I used to watch Scooby Doo. Yeah, same here. I wanted to watch it. I wanted to see it. <clears throat> it's like when those, yeah. which not all shows do them well, but there is some that do them very well. But they're always fun as kids when you have the holiday episodes. Uh, you know, it's the fun, happy he uh, ones. Mm-hmm. All, all those fun episodes. There's always a lesson at the end, but the kid still ends up getting all the fucking presents one way or another. Yeah, everybody starts cra- clapping and crying. Then you're pissed off because you know you ain't getting shit. <laughs> like, why not watch this shit again? <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, mad. Uh, those, fu- those fucking. Speaking of which, I got, a, I got a quick Christmas story to tell you guys. So. Every year, my younger brother and I, my younger brother Christian and I would, like, sneak downstairs after my mother put the presents under the tree and kind of tear a piece of the thing to see what we got and I'd tape it back. So one day, one year, we, we were going to go do that. Go downstairs, there's nothing under the tree. So we go, shit, okay, maybe she's going to put them out later. So we go to bed, get up in the morning, nothing under the tree. Go, she hid everything. Had us thinking we didn't get shit. We were so mad That's and upset. fucked up. But uh, Yo, that was our learned... kid, man. I think we learned our lesson. I don't think we did that. I don't think we did that again after that. I think we just waited. 
But you know, I found out. Well, I don't know who's watching, but I found out the truth. The truth on my yes. on my own. I went down in the basement, and there was like a um. So when you go down the stairs, this is my like. When I was like eight. The house I used to live in. You go down the basement stairs, and on the right, there's like a storage cubby mm -hmm. on the side of the wall. And you open the basement door, and you go down. You turn to the right. You just turn your head. It was lined up with everything you guys wanted. Yeah. So I was like, I went up. I remember. I don't know if I cried. I know I was mad and Please sad cry. at the same time. And uh, but then after that, whatever, give me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, five minutes into this episode, I do have an intro. Oh yeah, the intro. There you go. I will be. We'll be right back. Very 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 shortly. Happy holidays to all of you out there from Sir Sturdy himself, a.k.a. Sturdy Claws. Check out the beard. Check out the glasses. I know you're digging the hat. Of course, got the Christmas shirt on. Christmas hoodie. Pink and red. Why not? But listen. Event calendar. The event calendar. We're getting ready to review this as soon as I shut the fuck up. We're going to have a merry time with this episode. And, you know, stay tuned. Stay put. Have a great time. Oh, oh, look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. Huge shout out to the scene snobs. Look at that. Yeah, my guys. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the madness. The jolly motherfucking madness. Yeah. Jazz hands, motherfuckers. Jazz hands. <laughs> Jazz hands. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Happy holidays, bitches. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> but uh this movie here, yo. It was better than I thought it was gonna be. Like I watched it with the wife earlier today, earlier this evening. Um and I'm just like, wow, this is like it starts out a little slow and then it starts picking up once you especially once you start paying attention to the calendar. And it starts picking up. Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. And then you're seeing when she eats certain things and you know, when she's eating the certain candies and certain yep. things that happen. That happen you gotta the follow things. the rules. Yeah. And make a I, lot of I sacrifice. even thought the demon thing inside was pretty cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you know what this made me want, and I said this to the wife before watching it. Like, <clears throat> this makes me want to see more movies, like event calendar horror themed films, whether it be anthologies. Yeah, we seen the anthology one. We did see one, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing yeah. more, but more anthologies, yeah, or, yeah. or, or one like this, like one solid movie like this. I would say, like something like this, a different. I would say darker. Mm. More violence, yeah, like more creep, more of a creep factor to it. Um, it's like an evil way of a life lesson. Like, are you selfish just for yourself, or do you care about others and sacrifice yourself? Because all this was the demon basically, you follow the directions, the demon, you open up every day at midnight, ding ding, you gotta fucking during that day, you got to. Do whatever the thing says. Do whatever that door is. If it's, it's usually a candy she eats, and the candy has like a special power. Like it, it starts, she starts feeling a uh, sensation in her legs, and she oh she's uh her 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 yep. So she she used to be a dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, she got in that car crash where her friend. By the way, her friend was an idiot. Um, I don't even know. I would have slapped her. I don't even know how that shit would have happened. She just not stop talking, giddy. I'm like, yo, you're driving. Calm down. But um, is that the same friend that? No, girl. That I think no. I think it was a different one. That that mm -hmm. girl had like black hair and looked like uh white white. Her her other friend was more like um blondish, like, right? Yeah, like, blondish, but look 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 like Latina maybe. Or tan. Peru. Yeah. We but know. um. So yeah, so this thing is a haunt of fucking possessed. Admit calendar, badass. I want it. Yeah, I would love to have this thing. Yes, yeah, yo, it's so fucking cool. I was like, that is so fucking cool. 
that would be awesome to open, like having little pieces from the movie, like the 25 different things that happen in the movie. Something little, in it. Yeah, little, you open up, it's not horror related or something. I like the wood, the old wood look. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yo, I'll put that on a display. That shit is badass. Oh, no. like oh you mean the whole, the whole, the, okay. the whole fucking box, man. I thought it was awesome looking. That was fucking badass. Yo. But yeah, so you follow the rules each day. Like, for example, day six, I think it is. It's like a fucking roofie. Mm -hmm. You give it to the, the guy she liked, put in his drink, and he falls in love with her. So it's more than a roofie. That's a lifey. That's a lifey. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you don't follow the rules, <clears throat> and it, it used to have it had the sayings, if you dump it, I'll kill you. Yep. If, if you, you don't follow destroy the rules, it, I'll kill you. If you don't follow the rules, I'll kill you. So it's either going to kill you or you do what it tells you. So um, one was she had to kill her own dog. Yes. That was fucked up. I hate the animal scenes. But yo, I want I, I do have to say this, James. I do have to say this to where I hate them just as much as everyone else does. Same with the cars. You guys know how I feel about cars. Um that scene was so fucking powerful though, and like and a creepy no, way. It was it was a powerful because she like, was she had no choice you, to do it. You you seen her face like and Again, I'm gonna say this again because I love when movies fucking do this. I fucking love when movies do this when actors and actresses can, can portray this. When they are trying to pull off an emotion, but they show the emotion with their emotions, with their face, with their eyes, with their body language, and she did that with like with this whole scene right here. She did that to where like her eyes had like that glistening where she looked like she's about to start crying, but she didn't. Um, she the dog rocking, holding them while the knife. Yeah. Went. And the knives, yes, yes. And she was just like, just she had to kill her dog. She had no choice. And then, so. yo, when her friend says something, she just moves her eyes over. I'm like, oh shit. Oh yeah, you just read. Her friend knew, just read her face, and they took the dog and they buried it for or cremated it. Yeah. Um. Then she was trying to tell her because the box, she didn't want the box to kill her friends. So she was like, I forgive them. It's not their fault. Mm hmm. And they just kept re she kept repeating it. It didn't mean shit. Because once they do something wrong with the advent calendar, like the girl Viagra one. Do you oh, I think oh. Well, I'm gonna leave and come back. Yep, yep. Having a little technical difficulties, but it'll be right back, folks. We are talking about the advent calendar, which you can watch over on Shutter. I believe it is also on Tubi as well. We're gonna give our ratings as well. Two. There we go. Right. Welcome back, okay. Jane. Where are we at? Oh, should we do the ratings? I yeah. Just you say ratings. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you have for me, James? I really enjoyed this. I'm going to give it a high seven. Ooh. I'm going to give it a seven point five. I'm gonna text my wife and see if she'll give me a rating. Put your fingers, we'll see. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm curious yeah. how she liked it. It was a seven, though, like in the beginning, it was a little bit slow, but like you said, if it had a little bit more like violence, mm -hmm. more with the demon thing than just mostly talking and her deciding if she should open the fucking door or yeah. all that stuff, it would have been much better. But for all that, for a, a little tiny soul burn in the beginning, it I thought it was really good. Same here. Same here. The concept was awesome. The demon was awesome. Even though it was a spin on Germans are bad, it was a German thing, if you noticed it. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> it was a German movie, though. So, I mean, it was. No, you're movie. right. It is a German movie. So, it was like a fucking possessed fucking advent calendar from Germany. It was Hitler's bath toy. <laughs> but, uh. I'm not calling you that, James. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they did so good at this fucking movie, though. Like, the girl played the part perfectly. Agreed. Like you said, the emotion in her face, she's there and fucking have to do it is, and like the fucking seizure thing, when she takes one, she has, like, a, has a seizure, but then she can feel her legs better. Yep. There was a yep. couple funny parts that probably weren't supposed to be funny, but made me laugh. Like, the part where she invited that dude over, and he's like, what'd you call me over? She goes, I gotta take advantage, because I can feel right now. <laughs> 
And she was like, Yo, I'm, getting, I'm getting pounded out. She goes, I need that pipe. She day. Yo, she got over her that one boy. She that one guy she drugged really quick. Shit. Cause that dumb ass went and threw it into the lake. He didn't know it was gonna happen. Then he ended up getting drowned. No, he didn't believe her and everything. Yeah, he's like, This thing is driving you nuts. I'm getting rid of it. Throws it in the fucking oh no, he finds out what she did. That's because he sees the candy on the table. Yeah, and it was under his Pepper. name. So he was like, You fucking because of this thing. Took it, he dumped it, the fucking demon came out of the water, fucking killed him. <laughs> like, don't fuck with me. Don't touch that shit. Dude. And I mean, it was part of the rules. If you try to destroy me, I will kill you. And that's what happened to him. It was a fucked up scene in the fucking car where she fell asleep. And the dude, she woke up, the dude's hands down her pants. He's like, oh, how you like that? She goes, motherfucker, I can't feel it. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. he's like, oh, feel this. He's like, he forced her, his, her head down to give yes. him head and shit. I'm like, wow. I thought she was going to bite his shit off. Well, hey, the demon. Yo, she's like, fucking die. Demon's like, I got you, bitch. Oh, and she told it, yeah, yeah, yes, that's right. Because she was like, drop dead. So it's like she could have done that to anybody. That's why she just keep repeating her friends. They didn't, I'm not mad at them. Don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Forgive them. Because you know how they took the dog and cremated it? She wanted yeah. to bury her dog. So she's mad, but she's telling herself, telling the demon, it's okay. Oh, I she's... forgive them. I forgive them. That's why she was keep repeating it. Because if not, the demon made it because it made her upset what they did. The demon would have killed them. Oh, shit. You're right about yeah. that. Yep. And she started knowing that after she said that to the guy who got in the car accident. I hope you fucking die. And, and all of that sudden, the, on the, when he left. Oh, the, the one she was told to drop dead. Yeah, the one tried to rape her. Yeah. He said, yeah. she said, drop dead. Yep. And the demon's like, boom. So she didn't want her other friends to get hurt. Yo, remember the chick in the bathtub, though, that she killed? Because she had, Oh, like... was, was that her, like, um... I don't know who the hell was she, stepmom? I don't know who the fuck that bitch was. I forgot who she was, but at first she made her start losing her hair. Yeah, because the doll, the, the box is like, yo, I want you to kill her. Voodoo doll, that's what it was, like a voodoo doll type. And, and she's, she's like, like twisted a leg and folded her in half. And said, you seen her arm snap? <laughs> yep. She did I thought she, that, that was an awesome scene. Mad. And then she ends up, then the funny part is when she crumbles the doll up and throws it out the window. <laughs> yeah, crumbles it up, looks like a fucking paper ball throws it out the window. Jeez. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, I also, where she did it on purpose, because uh, her father <laughs> asked her what, why her. She goes, oh, I did that one for fun because she did that bitch where she said a thing and put, wrote a letter. So she basically made this lady throw the fucking the, uh, advent calendar in the fire. So the demon comes out like, bitch, you're trying to burn me? <laughs> puts her puts her head in the fucking fireplace and she's fried. And she oh. told him that they're giving the father the pill so he could talk to her. And he, he, knew, he, like, he knew about the box. He was like, you got to do what it tells you. Don't hesitate and shit like that. He's telling her. Barbie teaser trailer? Barbie teaser trailer? No, I'll pass on the Barbie. Thank you. Now, if it was like a horror Barbie movie. Like I, don't, I don't care who the actress is. I know it's... Um... Oh, fucking the one place. Uh, Harley Quinn. What's her face? Um... Wow, why am I blanking? You don't Mar talk about Suicide Squad? Margot Kidder? No, not Margot. Yeah, Margot. There you go. Mall Girl. She plays Barbie. No, I said a horror version, though. It'd be Killer Barbies. Yeah, I'll watch it, of course, but nah. I'm all right. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not saying I'm asking. The girls were throwing the baby dolls away. What the fuck? Okay. I did, yeah. So Barbie was giving abortions? Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. There you go. Yeah, I don't. I'm. Oh my god, I don't. There's no way. If I was in Suicide Squad in like major movies, no, and they're like, "Yo, you want to play Barbie?" I'm like, "No, motherfucker." There's no way I would do that. I don't care how much they're gonna pay me. What about that, Ken? That movie's gonna suck balls, man. Who's gonna watch that shit? Barbie fans. If if Jay, I'm telling you right now, if you if you play Ken in a Barbie movie, I'm watching that shit. I'm going to see that shit in theaters. Matter of fact, I'm I'm going with you to the red carpet. I'll, I'll play the I'll play divorce Ken. 
<laughs> 20 years later, I just let myself go. <laughs> Sitting on a recliner with a fucking beer. Hanging out with me. a fucking sandwich. We're in this movie. Yo, let's, let's, let's somehow throw the podcast on here. <laughs> it was basically based uh, on his life. Oh man, look at that, guys. We're, we just that, that's that's a movie right there. And every time Barbie comes and tries to drop the kids off for the weekend, I go, Hey, Barbie, remember the time they used to come over here and suck this? Go <laughs> 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 to commercial. Gee, that's not in the script. <laughs> that's uh, crazy. That's what they should do. They should make white trash Barbie. They got every other Dow. You make fucking white trash Barbie. Trailer oh, Park God. Barbie or something. Wait. Actually, I can't say trailer parks. I take trailer parks back. I've been to some nice ass trailer parks where the fucking trailer is worth like fucking 150 grand. I think the white trash one would work better because it's just like white that trash. could be anywhere, any, you know, any environment. Just trash. <clears throat> yep. So. Meth head Barbie. I would watch that. She I takes a fucking, it. like, she takes a watch battery and she fucking tweaks out. <laughs> <laughs> like that Barbie got zapped. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck are we talking? How the hell do we start talking about this shit? I, I don't know. Honestly. <laughs> oh, anyway. this is all about Barbies. That's right. Oh uh, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> a wild fucking time. That's that, that that that'd be a wild fucking if they were all horror movies I'd watch them, especially if it was like a um either no, in I, would, I would definitely watch it. Of course I'll watch it. Anthology or, or if it was like say if those were like twelve different movies. All in, you know what I mean? The same story, but 12 different movies. I'd want to watch it. Barbie just killing all her friends off. Yeah, just get high as shit and you watch it. And it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm watching this bullshit. Could be doing worse. Could be smoking crack, but I'm not. Yo, that Megan, they're saying they're going to take over Chucky. I doubt that, but. I doubt it too, because I guess this one's more of like a horror comedy, which I do still want to go and see. Um, what, Megan? It's not supposed yeah. to be a comedy, is it? I believe it's supposed to be a horror. I believe it's like a horror comedy. I'm not. I thought it was a straight. No, I thought it was a straight up like horror drama type thing. Like this fucking Dow gets presented. Unless it's a fucking Chucky rule. Yeah, Chucky. Yeah, Chucky's gonna win. Now I totally forgot because I didn't watch the trailer or anything. I just I see the TikTok where they're everybody's doing the Megan dance. It's like that fucking weird ass dance the Dow does. But um. I thought this was like a fucking a smart doll. It's like a like a and like you know, yes, master. It's like a fucking toy, or it helps you around the house or something, and it turns evil. That's what I'm I thought not, Megan's about. I, I'm not 100 percent sure on that though, because I didn't read about it and I don't know the trailer. Yeah, robot doll gone rogue. Yeah, most likely falls in love with the fucking father, and the father. She's like, oh, take me, daddy, and. I'm, oh, James, like no, that she kills everybody. I think you're mixing that up with two different kinds of movies that you watch. <laughs> <laughs> I see a movie like that before. Remember the fucking like the babysitter or something? And the, oh, oh or- fucking orphan! The new orphan movie was like that. Both of them. Yeah, both of them. You're right. First- yeah, both. That's right. She falls in love with the fucking father mm-hmm. that adopted her so, or whatever. Good fucking crazy stories though. Yeah, I didn't mind the new one. The old, new uh-huh. movie? I thought it was pretty oh. good. And go, going back to what I said before, when we were reviewing those, watching them back to back, like watching. Yeah, I did too. I watched the new one, then the the original, right after. I was like, "Oh shit, this wow!" It, it makes it makes the story make sense, wow. like, like how she did it and what she did. Yo, it tied in so fucking. Yeah, well. I thought it was good. But back to this movie though, because this movie was yeah. really. Good. Yeah, like, this I, movie was really good. I recommend it. Check this one out. It's I on can't Shutter. Remember. I can't remember what each J what each day did. I, I think it's I know no. it's on, I think it's on uh Tubi too. Majority of them were candies to get feeling in her legs, but then every other one, the demon was like, click, okay, you gotta do something fucked up now. Got it, got it. That's what it was. That's what it was. Like six was easy. She 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 was like, Oh, I can this guy can fall in love with me. She didn't think no negative effect about it. Mm-hmm. But now you got him involved. Yeah. So the demon has another toy to play with. Um, but then there was ones where she had to kill her father. It had like a little fucking mini gun in there to use. 
real quick. Uh, don't, don't, quote, don't quote me on that, Liz. I, I think it's on Tubi, but I'm not 100 percent sure. What's on Tubi? Uh, this movie right here, the Advent Calendar. I believe it's on Shutter. No, it, it's it's oh, it's on Tubi too. I seen it on Shutter. Or is it a Shutter original? I don't remember. It might be a Shutter original. Either way, it's a good film. It's a really good film. I or or Shutter exclusive or something like that. Even though I gave it a seven point five, it's a I really gave it a seven. Film. It was really good. It's worth. It's definitely worth the watch. Um, it is a foreign film. It is a foreign film, but it's, it's a good. foreign film. That's good though. It's good. So you know what the fucked up part about it at the end? So the ending, they don't tell you what she did. Like what one she chose. Because the boy, the guy that she had him come over to give her the pipe before mm-hmm. she lost Bill in her legs again, because she said, Tomorrow I'm gonna to eat the last candy. Then I wake up, forgotten, and nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Because that's what happened to one guy she went to visit. And then he touched the thing that he remembered. He's like, get the fuck out of my house. Because yeah. he killed he killed his family and everything doing this fucking advent calendar. But mm-hmm. then he did the last day and it restarted everything. So it gets passed on. So now she has it. It got to the last day. The guy comes running over. He goes, the, follow the rules. She's like, what are you talking about? I am. He was like, it says until the last day. It don't say you have to eat the last day. So she can keep the life as of right now where she can walk. Mm-hmm. And she can, um, but everybody she did, everybody's dead. All her friends, her, her father. Everyone's already, yeah. So her but then just... that shoulder, she has it. She screams at it. And it ends. Then it starts with a, a guy with like his daughter going to her house, but it looks abandoned. But I remember when he, he has the phone in his hand, you hear her talking. Yeah, because she recorded everything. So she he found that in the box. He got to the yep. level where he figured that out. It was like a message from her. Yep. To warning, warning them. Mm-hmm. And he is trying to find her like she found the other guy. So I don't know how it ended. You think she said, fuck everybody, I'm going to keep walking? Or did she eat the fucking pill? I'll eat the thing. Who knows? Who yeah. Knows? So it leaves that out there for you. It, you know, it almost, now that you mentioned it, it almost. A small part of me, a small part of me, it almost makes you want to people, and just the sense of how good the story was, and then like the way it ended, and not only a, a cliffhanger, but a good one where it's like, oh shit, it's a guy and his fucking daughter. Where are they gonna take this one? How many? They could they- definitely do a second one on this. Yeah, I would love to see. Idea time, idea time. Like uh, this, I have the event calendar, twenty-five different days, twenty-five different stories. Kind of like a, it'd be like a big ass anthology, and say everybody gets. I'm gonna say a half hour or an hour, because if you could watch one a day, technically, if you wanted to, say so let's say let's just say an hour. Let's just say an hour for argument's sake. Let's say an hour. That would be dope. We had to do our half hour. That would also be dope. But 25 different stories, event calendar, and somehow they all couldn't. Maybe they all connect in a small way. One way or another, tying in. Maybe the way they one ends and one begins is the way they tie in together. Is the way they tie in together. Yeah, that that would be hard to do though. Maybe, maybe not. I'm, they definitely can make it work. Oh, oh, hell yeah! But there, some of them will be like cheesy and quick. Like it'll be like little stupid ones, just so you can move on to the next day. Yeah, but it'll still work though. I'm sorry, I'm but like you... I said, if this this one's perfect, if it had more fucked up violence, like more. I agree. I agree. I agree with you 100%. Like she's fighting back with it. She goes, No, I don't want to do it. And the fucking thing, like that one time it came out and started choking her. Mm -hmm. There should have been more of that where she's like crying, like, I can't do it no more. And the fucking thing comes out and just piece the shit out of her for a little bit. I I guess the the tough part about that is you're, I don't want to sound, I'm not trying to sound fucked up or funny, but she's paralyzed from the waist down. So she's only going to feel. You know, I mean, obviously, it's still gonna hurt from the chest up or the waist up or whatever. Well, at some point where, well, yeah, I can see what you're saying. Like in the beginning, where she's arguing, where she don't have complete feeling in her legs yet, mm-hmm. and the thing is like fucking torturing her. She, she's yep. basically she went mad in this though. It, oh. it broke her down. She lost her mind. Shit, she went. She, crazy. she gave in. She said, "Fuck it, I'm doing it all. I'm gonna shoot the, my father in the back of the head, even though he he wanted her to." But I mean. 
all the shit that she was going through with that and then add on to her disability, which I'm not trying to make that like an excuse for her. That's a lot to try to like fucking do. Like this yeah. calendar no, thing. She had depression because of her situation. She used to oh, be a dancer. She used to be a great dancer. Yeah. But the accident paralyzed her. So so she was she had depression. That's why um she went swimming and went back home and her friend was like, Come on, you gotta do something. It's your birthday. Because she don't want to do anything. She's mm-hmm. depressed. And that's when her friend gave her this fucked up friend. She deserved to die. Gave her a fucking possessed a possessed fucking uh advent calendar. Fucked yeah. her over, changed her whole life. Do you think she knew it was possessed? Who? The girlfriend, the friend. Do you think she knew it was possessed when she gave it to her? No, I doubt it. No. She probably I think she said she found it in a flea marker or something. She just thought it was cool. Like it has here's the key. You open up a door. Here's the thing, though. If I found something like that, it's not in a box, it's old as hell. The key comes with it. Before I give it as a gift, you think I'm not gonna open up every one of those doors and see what the fuck is in there? See, and that is the difference between me and you, James. Because if I find some sh- creepy shit like that, I'm like, oh fuck. No, that's what I'm saying. She would have found out it was pres- uh it was fucking had a demon in it. Because she right, would have fucking right, opened James, the thing. Quick, quick question, James. If if this for whatever weird reason ever happens to me or Henry, let's say, right? And we grab something that we think is possessed by a demon, but we don't want to open it and we send it to you. Are you cool with that? You're gonna open it and check it out for us? Make sure it's safe. Yes, unless it's that uh Zubuki box, whatever the hell that's called. <laughs> anything else you're cool with, though? I'm not. I'm not fucking with that box, man. But everything else, I was like, yeah, thank you, haunted Dow, awesome. The, the thing is, I don't want to upset your wife. Yeah, no, yeah, she'll divorce me. Yeah, then she need to divorce me or to make us divorce, and and it'll, and it'll be your fault. No, it wouldn't be. You have to because our chance. house is because our house is haunted because you gave me a doll or something. You could say no, don't send that here. <laughs> put the put them all in the garage for Halloween. Look. Would I want to own like Annabelle and everything? Yes. The but real Annabelle? Or like the a- real ones. But here's the thing. I won't take the chance. Believe in it or not. I don't know. My answer is I don't know if it's real or not. I would not take the chance just in case. It'll have to be the same setup. As where it's doing right now, it has to be in that case. It has to have a priest come every fucking month and bless it, or whatever the hell that rules were that they're having it uh, take care of that fucking doll. Damn straight. Yeah, okay, so, so okay, so let, let, let's up it on you. Let's up it on you. Say you have that room, you own that room. You don't even have to live there. You just own that property, own that place. Okay. Yeah. Um. Would you stay? Let's say a week there. The room is locked yeah. off. Let's say it's that house set up. It's locked off how it is. Would you stay yeah. there for a week? Yeah. And let's just say you could bring whoever you want with you. Whoever you want with you can go. Yeah. I'll stay there for the week. Oh. For one, because I would want to know the truth. And I'll be asking questions and everything. I'll be sitting in a room asking every fucking item. Anybody want to talk? And touching stuff. Oh, Jesus, James. But um, no, I would definitely. Like I said, there has to be safety precautions, though. I don't fuck with Annabelle and everything, just in case. Just in that case. doesn't sound very safe if you're going in there talking everything and touching stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> the but all the other shit, like when you watch the Annabelle movies where uh, the Warrens had that room where it mm-hmm. had like a wedding dress and everything. Yeah, I will sit there. Yes. Even though that wedding dress bitch was, uh, she was kind of fucked up. She actually tried to kill you. Yeah. Some wild, crazy shit. I I, I'm curious what number four is about. A lot of people think it's going to be about the wedding dress. That'd be interesting. Why it's haunted and shit. That'd be interesting. And yeah. it, honestly, it's at the point where I know it's a lot of... What do you want to call it? Maybe based on the Warren story. Some of it loosely based on their story. Loosely, though. yeah. It's not 100% loosely because based. they didn't really fight a fucking... No, no, no. dragging her underneath the house and shit. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. I don't mad. I'm not mad if they're loosely based like that. And I'm no, not mad. I'm mad as long as there's some truth into it. Even like it's really one of their cases, and this is really what people at the time were saying. All the document stuff. Okay, some of the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe bits and pieces. I see what you're saying. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make up stuff though. Don't make up like 
like the wedding, like for example, Hollywood, like uh, Conjuring uh, Universe is going strong with the Warrens uh, cases. Mm -hmm. If they automatically go, you know what? They're going through the Warrens cases like, ah, none of these are interesting. Let's make up one. That's when I go, go fuck yourself. I'm sure they, I'm sure they throw their own flavor into each of them, though. No, sure. as long as it has the truth of their real case. Okay, as long as some beat, bits, okay, as long as it has some things from it. Okay, I get that. Yeah, but if it's a straight up made up story, no, nah, don't don't fuck with it. That is such because we go, me and you, when we discuss horror movies and when we discuss like those that genre, we always go to the Conjuring first, dude. That's a like good I said, for the longest time, I gave that a 10. Fucking The Conjuring movie at the time when it came out. Because before that, a lot of horror, horror movies came out. The fucking story was trash. The Conjuring had a fucking great story. True. Very true. And it drew me in. And I'm like, I haven't felt like this in a long time. So mm. that's why The Conjuring, and I'm going to stick with it. I didn't watch it in a you know, Since quite, quite well, a I've bit. Seen. Yeah, but I still give it a 10. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's, it's staying a 10 on my list. I feel it's like about Sinister in, in, a different, in a different way because it's more, yes, it has kind of possession in there. It does with the kids and more slasher slash possession. But The Conjuring is a movie that, I'll say those two are movies I go back to a lot as far as discussions go. Those were really yeah. Fucking films, yeah. The sinister, like sinister, but the Conjuring universe has more. I think that's why it's totally oh, yeah. oh yeah, because it has La La Rona, it has the nun, it has fucking Annabelle, yeah, all but that the, shit. But for me, the Conjuring, the the Conjuring movie is the best one. That's my favorite oh, one. Yeah, one hundred percent. The first one was the best one. But, like, I can be honest. When I first watched the Annabelle movies, because I was I wasn't watching them in the I wasn't watching them in chronological order. I was just watching them in the order that they came out in theaters. Yeah, at the time when it came I out. I wasn't as theater. crazy about them, but then when I watched them in the correct order, I was like, yo, these movies are fucking phenomenal. When you watch See, them, I, I always liked them. I thought it was a good I was like a haunted fucking gal. I didn't I'm like well, can't go wrong. I was like, it's pretty good. I'll say I liked them. I didn't love them, and now yeah. I love them. I should have said that. Like I like yeah. it, but no, you're right. Watch them in order now. It it's makes like it, it just makes them much better. Ten not, times better. Not only that, but I'll say like when you watch them like that, which I may go. Th I'm gonna go through and do it again at some point. Probably maybe I may wait till around when the new one comes. The non two comes out, and then watch, make sure that I have figure out what what order it comes out in, and watch all the movies up till that point, and say it comes earlier in the French. Okay, let me watch it here, and then go watch the rest of these movies. Some shit like that. I don't know. Here's the thing that bothers me about that, though. So, why don't they start off like that? If you got like a script, say you're like, "Yo, I want you want to make this a movie," producers and everything, they read it. They're like, "I feel no, like I have movie fast." I feel like I have an answer for that kind of sort of. And I'll well, say, why where they don't they should start with the prequel? No, no, no. Start with the one that's gonna grab not just the horror fanatics like us. But the casuals, the one that's going to bring the casuals to the theaters, not just the guys that are going to come anyway, but the one that's going to draw the casuals in. And I feel like the Conjuring was probably the best one to do that to start off with, to drag everybody in. There, yeah, there's a possibility. There's probably then, the most then, like the story. They're like, oh, this then after that, you drop, you drop the Annabelle movie because the Annabelle movie it's about a creepy doll. Doll still creep people the fuck out. And you know, they, they I feel like they did it the right way. But I get, I do get what you're saying too, though. So you're saying that. Like right now, like would you if you took like, all the animals, they're ready to drop. Uh -huh. Would you like it better that how it originally played out, or would you want to see the prequel first, then go forward? Like, say they came out the prequel, you're like, what the hell's going on? As they're building up a story, then then they're gonna go. There's gonna be a part two. Now you're like, how? You, what, I, what can they do? In a weird way, yo. I don't. I love prequels. Like I don't mind them going back and then telling it, just because. But, but would you like? Do you like it better after the main movie came out first, or would you want it to start as like a prequel? Oh no no no! Because then it wouldn't be a prequel though. It would just be the first. Part well yeah, I'm talking. It'd be like the origin story, like how I, this fucking I, thing. I, I honestly, I, I honestly, I like it as a, I. Li I would like it either way, but I like it as it is. I like them as prequels. Yeah, like and also because they don't know how it's going to do. So once it's like 
banks, they're like, we're making yeah. another one. You got, you, got, you got to look at it like this. You can look at it, and Conjuring told a beautiful story. Don't get me wrong. But movies like that, I'm just using that as an example. The movies that hook you in, sometimes they don't have to tell the deepest story. They can have a, a good story that's going to, that's gonna you know, hook you in, reel you in, have the good visuals. Like I said, the good story. All this stuff, if it's a horror movie, let's say something like The Conjuring, you're going to have some really good jump scares. You're going to have some creepiness to it. You're going to have something at the end that's going to really pull you into like, okay, I want to see whatever's connected to this. I need to see that next type of deal. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's why they start with these. And then when you go back to say like a prequel type of movie, which I fucking, I just enjoy them. Because they are good. I like some, some, I see some prequels were kind of corny. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, if you're going for just the positive, if you're going for the good, because there's movies that sometimes it's movies that come out and you're like, yo, I wonder how this character was, let's just say, 20 years ago. And perfect you... example, X. Boom. Perfect example. Like, you, you watch X, you're like, yo, who the fuck is this old lady and why is she nuts like this? X, Pearl, and then Maxine, which is. Pro- I, I didn't, I, yo, I still didn't see Pearl yet. Oh, um, yo, you need to watch Pearl. As a matter I'll, of fact, maybe I'll do it this week. Because I'm off. I'm not working. So huh. I'm not working tomorrow, Thursday. I'm traveling Friday. So maybe tomorrow, Thursday, I'll try to watch Pearl. I still need to watch Smile. I watched uh, oh. Pray for the Devil. I got to watch that. Pray for the Devil is not bad. You should check it out. I got to watch that. So I got to watch Pray for the Devil. I thought, I thought it was very interesting. But once again, I like movies like that. Hmm. See, when I first heard about Pray for the Devil, I didn't watch no trailer or nothing. I, I, I thought I seen something. It could be a different movie, but I thought it was Pray for the Devil. I'm sure it was. Someone said it's not like how it sounds. It's going to be like a cult movie. Mm. So when I was going into this, I was expecting a cult movie. No. It's a legit possession, church involved. Okay. It's, it's, I like it. That's why I said you should have, uh, watch it with your wife. Oh, I will. I will. She loves that kind of stuff. Yeah, she, she likes that kind of stuff. I want to, of course, I want to know how she feels. Oh, did she get back to you about the rating? Uh, let me see. I'm to fall asleep. Yeah, I think she fell asleep. Oh, okay. Because I was really curious how she thought about this movie. But yeah, this movie was this movie. I know we were jumping around with horror in general, but this no, this movie was really good. No, it was really good. It was really good. Which, which makes me think though, I want to watch like a really good paranormal type of movie that takes place around Christmas. Oh, okay. So okay. So you know what you do? You fucking Google paranormal Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's probably gonna come up with Krampus. But I don't want Krampus. You know what I mean? I don't want Krampus. You want Even some kind of like a spirit thing. Yeah, well, Krampus. Ghostbusters might come up. Wasn't that around Christmas? I don't want that, though. But I'll look. I, if I remember, I'll look. No, that- yeah. I, I don't know, honestly, because usually the Christmas movies and horror, it's usually like a fucking uh, evil Santa. It's a slasher movie. Or I heard there, well, I, I think mean, there's a killer Rudolph movie, I think. I fucking hope so. Like a creature fe- feature type thing, but it's never like a. I don't. I can top of my head. I could be wrong. I don't think I ever seen like a pair, like a ghost demon type Christmas movie. I see. Maybe was Poltergeist around Christmas? I don't remember. I, I forgot. I, I, I don't know. I just want to show you. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it in a long time. I can't remember. Show but yeah, else. I don't know. I'm curious now too. I want to know if there's a fucking paranormal Christmas movie. Show you guys what's coming up real quick tomorrow at 6 30 Eastern time. The last two episodes of Wednesday. The last two, man. Seven and eight. Gotta have Netflix right over on Stream Lounge again at 6 30 Eastern time PM. And then third tomorrow season two. Christmas blood. Yo, I'm excited about this one. Review. I cannot fucking wait to watch. And 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 I will be doing a watch party. I'm not sure what time exactly yet. I'm thinking around like 4 30, 5 o'clock at the latest. All right. But uh, I'll get back to you guys with that. I'm going to watch it. I don't know if I'm going to watch it tomorrow or Thursday. I might wait to Thursday just to have it fresh for podcast. Yeah, do it with the watch party. Well, I don't know about that late because my wife's out of work. We do shit. But... Harry Potter 4, Goblet of Fire. There you go. Goblet of Fire is getting better and better. Yes. yes. 12, 23, 22. You see the transition, how it's getting like a little bit darker and darker. 
Yes, yes. I did my review. It is out there, so go watch that. That's right, you did. Got more coming out, and I still got to do. I think I dropped the one thing. I got to drop the uh, whatever the hell the animal thing is called. Starts with the P. I forgot. I got to drop that record and drop that video. My uh, one was like what is it, sun oak. Mine was maple something. Mine, what mine was like a special kind of oak, and it was like long. You know, it's packing that, it's packing that stick. <laughs> Big one, little one. Yo, my fucking Patronus thing was a Manx. Patronus, that's what it is. A Manx cat. Yeah, I got to do that. But I mean, then it says, look up and see what it means. They don't have mine listed. They have the fox, the <laughs> fucking deer, and all that. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, well, how are you going to give me one and you don't even have what it means? They'll figure it out. They'll figure it Bastards. out. Bastards. <laughs> Bastards. Bastards. We're talking about we're doing Harry Potter shit. Yo, I still didn't look up the game. Yo. I gotta see how the game Yo, I used to remember the original Harry Potter game on PlayStation 2? Never seen it. Yo, I beat that shit. That was pretty hard at the time. I'll show you after this, after we're done doing the review, because we're gonna end soon anyway. I'll show you the, the game real quick. Alright. Oh yeah. I'm excited for that Christmas movie. Um I do I watch the, the main one. Yes. We'll talk about that behind the scenes too. I do want to, um, like I was telling you, I was talking to you before about this, but I do indie people that are out there, if you're listening or when you do hear this, I want to connect more in 2023, a lot more, as far as having your guys' horror shorts come on 20 minutes or less. You or your movie. We'll make it up. Or if you have movies on YouTube, we can set up a watch party on Friday night. Yeah. And, you know, have a little discussion or review that same movie that following Tuesday night or whatever the case may be, you know? And Jason, if you're listening, you're always welcome anytime. Or is always open for you, man. And like I said, let's connect. I want to connect with your people. I get it. Because we can only have so many on at a time. Get a few on at a time. Jason, I'd love you to be here to help coordinate and let everybody know who everybody is for these episodes. But let's let's make that happen. Let's get your team out there. Let's get their faces seen and all that. Because you guys did an amazing job with all of your stuff. Like with all your stuff. Not just with your last film, but all of your stuff, man. Um, so big shout out to you. And uh yeah, we're gonna get out of here, guys. Um, yeah. have a great night. Recommend the movie, check it out. Yes, definitely check this movie out and definitely go check out the scene snobs. There's some awesome, awesome guys. Have a great night. Um, happy holidays. Happy um, holidays. See you guys. Make Thursday. sure Krampus don't come for you. See you guys tomorrow, possibly tomorrow, Thursday. And I might even see you guys later on tonight because I may be gaming. I may be gaming with my boy Matt, but uh, you know. Don't eat a hot dog casserole with Jello. It looks disgusting. Yo, yo, that shit was legit back in the day. They had yeah. spaghetti inside of Jello. How did that make you feel? I don't know. It was like in the sixties and shit. That was that was, wasn't my time. You think nasty. your parents had that? Or your grandparents? Nasty, nasty fucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, it's amazing night. Um, I'll see you in nightmares. Peace. Peace out. Ho ho ho. Mary Nicholas.